All right, so this is one of the lectures from my latest course, Master SEO Automations with AI, where I teach how to automate SEO workflows with AI and AI powered tools. In the course, I teach everything starting from business idea validation to keyword research, one click competitor analysis, then SEO optimized content planning, content generation, automating technical SEO audits or content audits to further internal linking strategies, how you can automate all such workflows. And as a capstone project, we automate a complete SEO tool, which was ranked number one on Product Hunt. So that's the capstone project. That's the kind of value that you get out of this course. And this video is all about generating high quality, SEO optimized, well-researched articles. So let's start. Now, I want to create an article targeting this particular keyword and the article should be enriched with images, research, and it should be the best possible article that Sleepy Owl can write on cold brew recipe. So I need to target this keyword. I have my product description. I have the product name. I have all the details. Now I need to put together an SEO optimized, a really good read, really good blog post on cold brew recipe. So let's see how we can create this workflow that generates such enriched articles using all the information that we'll provide for our workflow first of all i would need a keyword a product name and product description so keyword that we are targeting we already know this so we are targeting cold brew recipe so cold brew recipe is my keyword Product name, we already know. We are doing this for product called Sleepy Owl. And then you can basically capture the product description there. This is like easily available if it's your brand. So you'll have a product description, what it does or the company description, you'll have that handy. Now, the thing is, in order to write really good articles, like you can ask ChatGPT, but why would you not write an article using ChatGPT? Because it's simple text you want to write enriched articles. I'll show you the kind of articles that we actually want to write. So this is the article that has been written by this workflow, not just AI, not just chat GPT like models or you know chat applications. So this is what the kind of articles that we want to write. Look at the heading, which is SEO optimized. Then look at the images. The images are from the brand itself, okay? And then there are research that this information is correct. We need to make sure that all the information, every research, every article, every news, every asset that is being used, or if there are YouTube links, all of these should be correct. You can see the references, the citations, every single thing. So even though Sleepy Owl is a consumer brand, you might want to write articles where the research should be strong and solid and you would need to you know, specify the links that you have used in order to write the article. So this type of article, if you want to write and if you want to completely automate that whole process, let's look at the workflow. So as I was saying, that we need to write enriched articles. Enriched means images, YouTube links, or research papers, and make sure that the information is top notch. In order to do that, we first of all provide keyword here and product description to an AI model. And we ask that AI model to write an article for us. The second step is to collect images related to the product name, and the keyword. The third step is to make sure that the research is put in place for this particular keyword. Do the research, look at the news, look at all the different assets that we have. And then lastly, we put together every single thing. So as a content strategist, that person, that particular agent or that particular node will make sure that we structure this AI written article, we feed the right images, we feed the research, we make sure that it is a really, really good and smooth read optimized for SEO. This is the complete flow. Let's look at how we have done this within the Gumloop interface. Now, in order to create this workflow, we have to specify, we have to provide three different inputs. Now, one can always miss and you know get confused the types of input that we have to provide. So here we have used one node to capture the keyword, another node to capture the product name. And then there is, you know, a Google doc where I would have some sort of description. 
Now, what I wanted to do here is try out another feature of Gumroup, which is called interface. Now, interface would actually allow me to capture all of these input in one single node. So you see this button over here. It has new, it's a new feature here. So add interface. If I click on this, there's this node that opens up. I can edit this interface. So when you click on this node, you can upload a header image. You can choose like this is my header image icon. You can choose uh, uh, an icon for it. Again, you can specify that this is my uh, whatever name that you want to provide this. Uh, let's say my interface just for the sake of this uh, lecture. And then you can drag and drop uh, as to what your input is going to be. So let's say if this is like input one, if you want to, you know, provide an option to select a number of options, you can do that email, date, number, file upload, so on and so forth. Return to workflow. I'll delete this for now. I have already created this interface. So here you go. I have created this interface, SEO optimized article generator. Okay. First, I take keyword phrase to target, then I take product or company name, then I take product or company description. These are all of the things that I have passed as input. Okay, just like we've discussed here. Now, here's what's happening in order to write the article, get the images and get the research done. In order to write the article, as I mentioned, we need the keyword and we need the product description. So that is what is going into this combined text here. If you focus, I've got the summary of our product. Summary is basically nothing but the product description coming from our input and the keyword phrase to target. So it'll basically create a text blob for us. Then we have, uh, in order to create images, we have uh, the keyword phrase going in and the product or company name. So you can see here in my output, I have cold brew recipe and sleepy owl. So this is the output of this particular combined text node. And after this, we have the web search. In order to collect images, in order to collect images, we're using Google search here. And in this Google search node, you would see that query is coming from up above, which is cold brew recipe, uh, sleepy owl. Okay. And I have asked for 10 results. So the top 10 result, number of search results to retrieve. And the most important thing to note here is that I have switched on advanced search. Now this advanced search, when you turn it on, it gives you the option to select the engine here. Okay, choose the search engine you want to use. Options are Google, Google Images, Google Hotels, Events, News. So I've used Google Images, selected country India because Sleepy Owl is an Indian brand. That's it. And this will get us all of the image URLs as well as image snippets. That means the text associated with the images. So that comes within your snippets. That's it. We have got a list trimmer. So if you get like, you know, too many images, you can trim them down to just 10 images that we want. Okay. And we put to put it all together. Great. In order to conduct research, in order to conduct this particular research, all I need is the keyword. So related to the keyword, I need to conduct my research. And for that, the keyword is going into this combined text node. And here I have formatted it. I've added some text. So here's the prompt that I'm creating. The prompt goes something like this, gather relevant and up-to-date content on the following topic. Then the keyword is going to come here, cold brew recipe, instructions, search for research paper, YouTube videos, news articles for each piece of content, provide title, source URL, brief description, search only for research paper, videos, and news articles related to the topic. That's my prompt, which will go to perplexity web search. So here, in order to do the research, perplexity, again, if you want to see perplexity.ai, this is another tool that we use and it's it provides like really good researched articles and, you know, search results. That's why I've used perplexity web search to conduct this particular research. The model that we have used is uh, their Llama 3.1 Sonar Small Online. Okay, this is the model that we are using here within perplexity web search. So the result, the research also goes here, the images goes here, and we have the Ask AI node. In this Ask AI node, in order to write the article, what do we need? We need the keyword and the product description, that's all. And that is what is going as context within this Ask AI node. You are an SEO focused content writer, that's it. The model that I've used is OpenAI O1 Mini. You can use it OpenAI O1 or any other uh, model that you like. And we then put all of this together into another AI node. This AI node basically puts together every single thing 
and you can look at the final prompt that we are creating to consolidate everything just like i mentioned we'll have to consolidate format make it seo friendly seo optimized so look at this prompt that we have created here you are highly skilled and creative content strategist with expertise in enhancing blog content through strategic placement of multimedia elements such as images videos re research papers so on and so forth so the task carefully review strategic integration selective use formatting and flow every single thing we have specified here okay and uh, we got the images we got uh, our research and we put everything together using ai we write it into a google docs writer when you run this it'll take some time and here you go you have your google docs writer there you go look at this article currently it is not rendering images because google doc has some problem with markdown format okay so if you want you can look at this ai node you can copy the output from here and there is this site which is called markdown live preview so the article that uh, our workflow has written it goes something like this the ultimate cold brew recipe guide this is the article that we have written on cold brew recipe this is an enriched article with all the research with all the images etc everything is like super smooth strategically placed with great prompts and that is how you write really good articles seo optimized article using gumloop so i hope you learned something today about writing seo optimized articles and if you did do not forget to check out the complete course on automate seo with ai on my website viplane.com link is in the description and i would be pushing out a lot more content around automation than business idea in the coming weeks so make sure you are subscribed just click that subscribe button like the video comment down below what other automation you would want to see and i will do that for you i'll see you guys in the next one up until then keep learning and keep building with ai